Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the Unpopular Opinions Nail Polish Tag. Judy from Judinka Nail Art actually did this. I saw it on her channel and when I commented, because I really did enjoy this tag, I really enjoyed her answers, and when I commented on her video, she actually said she'd be curious to see what my answers were. So I figured I'd do this tag. At first I really didn't want to do it because it seemed kind of like a negative tag, but some of these I actually was able to answer pretty quickly, while others I kind of had to think about. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my little notebook here with all my questions. The first question is, a popular polish that you don't like and this is actually OPI's Lincoln Park after dark I really don't enjoy this polish that much I actually got this because this is one of Miss Holly Berry's favorite nail polishes it's a dark and vampy nail polish that almost looks black when you build it up on the nails but it has kind of like this purplish brownish undertone in it and it's just a little too dark for me I like I don't traditionally like to wear black nail polish but in particular I don't like to wear dark colors that almost look black. I like for there to be a little something something that kind of sets it apart from just a black nail polish and I just feel like you really can't tell the difference unless the light specifically hits it in a certain way. So for that reason this is just a little too dark and vampy for me. The next question is a polish everyone hates but you like and this one definitely has to be OPI's Fearlessly Alice. I feel the, the reason that a lot of people hate this polish is because it stains so badly. It doesn't stain on my nails as bad as people say it does. This only slightly stain my, stains my nails but I don't have nails that stain very easily. This is just a gorgeous like robin's egg blue color. It's got an amazing formula. This for me is fully opaque in one coat. Sometimes I have to do two coats depending on my application, but for the most part, I can get this fully opaque in one coat. Every time I've included this in a nail polish favorites video, it's also been in my top 10 OPI. Everyone always says that they really dislike this polish. Every video I've ever watched with this polish in it, everyone seems to hate it, but I really do love this polish. The third question is a nail polish finish that I don't like, and that has to be like sheer nude polishes. In particular, the ones from Essie. This one right here is called Mademoiselle and it's essentially the sheer nail polishes that Essie is known for. The only time I like sheer polishes is when I'm doing jelly sandwiches, but normally there's like glitter or some type of design or something that you smush in between the sheer polishes. Well, where it will distract from that visible nail line. I just really don't like polishes where you blatantly can see your visible nail line. And I feel like the most common sheer polish that does that are like these sheer nudes or like sheer baby pinks. And I just, I really don't like that finish. A popular brand that you think is overhyped. I actually, <laughs> I have three brands that I wanna talk about because I couldn't decide. I really couldn't decide on just one. The first brand I want to talk about is Deborah Lippmann's cream polishes. These I believe run for about 18 maybe $20 and I just don't think that $18 or $20 for a cream nail polish is worth it. I absolutely love Deborah Lippmann's glitters. I really do enjoy her glitter formula. I enjoy her glitter combinations. They still are overpriced in my opinion. The only time I will ever buy them is when they're 50% off on Hot Look or when she has like a 50% off flash sale. I think $10 is worth it. So even her glitters I think are overpriced but in particular particular I think that her creams are just they're just ridiculously overpriced there's plenty of cream polishes out there there's plenty of dupes out there for her polishes that have the exact same formula because they really do have nice formulas but I just I don't think 18 or 20 dollars is worth it the next brand I want to talk about that I think is overpriced is Julep. Like when you do like um like an a, flu a fluid ounce to like dollar comparison, I believe these come out to like the price of a Chanel nail polish, or they're even more expensive than like a Chanel nail polish. And it's just it's just not worth it. You get such a tiny amount in the bottle. The formulas really aren't that great. It's either hit or miss. They really don't have that many unique polishes in their collection. And then the last one I want to talk about 
about is actually um, a direct sales company and this is Jamberry. Their nail polishes and in particular their gel polishes are just way overly priced for what they are. Like, I feel like a lot of direct sales do this. Like, I feel that they put out products that are like way overly priced in comparison to like real market value. And it's just, it's just not worth it. Like, it really isn't worth it. You know, at least Deborah Lippman or Chanel or some of these other like higher end nail polish brands, you know, they, they have a name behind their brand. Jamberry, like who knows besides the nail wrap, like who knows about Jamberry nail polishes? Like, the next question is a trend that you can't get on board with. And I just really don't like super chunky glitters on the nails. I just really don't like it. I know a lot of people like that really chunky look, but I just, I really don't enjoy it on my nails. I enjoy chunky glitters, not overly built up, not just like a full manicure, like your nail like jam packed with chunky glitters. I really don't like that trend. A trend that I didn't like at its peak, but I do now. This is actually really interesting. And this is, um, these are textured polishes. And I have three brands that I really, really enjoy. The first one, of course, is the Zoya Pixie Dust Formulation. And they have like a magical pixie dust, which is a little bit chunkier. I don't tend to like those as much because they do look a little bit overly chunky and I don't like that. But the Pixie Dust Formulation in general is my absolute favorite textured polish formulation. Then from there, I'd have to give it to the OPI, OPI Liquid Sands. This one right here is called um, Pussy Galore. This was one of the harder ones to get, but it's still available on eBay. This is a really gorgeous polish. I don't know if I mentioned the other one from Zoya. This one is called Zoya's Zooey, and this is probably my all-time favorite textured polish. But then I also really enjoy these, and these are from Sally Hansen. These are Sally Hansen. These are the sugar coats, and this one is called Sweetie. This one's like a yellow texture. And what I like about these is they have like a matte, like white texture to them so they it kind of looks like um like sugar like sugar on your nails and i think these are really really gorgeous polishes however i didn't come into i didn't start enjoying the textured polish trend until at least a good year or two years after the trend because i believe the textured polish trend was maybe about five years ago was when it was like really popular so I love texture polishes now. I have gone out and purchased like the full OPI Liquid Sands collection. I have every single polish in the Sugar Coke collection. Pretty much anytime someone releases a textured polish line, I will I will snatch it up. I really love textured polishes. The next question is a color you don't wear often or at all, and that definitely has to be like traditional red nails. I just, I don't know, like I feel like it ages me. This one in particular is called And a Cherry on Top and it's from the Sephora by OPI Collection. It's just a very classic like blue based red. It's kind of similar to like the colors on my wall. I really just don't like this on my nails. I really feel like it ages me. I feel like my mom whenever I wear this red, I can wear red in my like manicure but I can't wear like a full manicure of just a classic red nail polish. The next question was a little bit hard for me because the question is a polish I think is overhyped and for the most part every overhyped polish that I've ever purchased has been like on point like China Glaze's Zombie Zest I think is absolutely beautiful. Um, cupcake polish, very good looking, is just an amazing polish. Like for the most part, every overhyped polish has been for a good reason. My number one overhyped polish, I think personally, is Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, the original formula. I've had bottles of the original formula and while I think the color is absolutely gorgeous and I think the formula was really nice, I don't think that it's worth the money that it's going for now. If you can find it at like the original price tag, yeah, great. But it's it's just a cream polish. It doesn't have some like crazy flakies in there or iridescent glitters or like uh, color shifting properties or, you know, crazy holographic glitter that you can't get any, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, 
it just it's just the color and the formula that people go crazy for and the color I feel like it's dupable and then the formula it really wasn't like it wasn't a one coater in my opinion it took me two maybe three coats to get that polish fully opaque so for that reason I just I mean I really do think it's an overhyped polish I really don't think it's worth spending 50 60 sometimes a hundred dollars on a bottle it's just it's just not worth it it's just not worth it and then the last question is a nail polish that doesn't get enough love and this one definitely has to go to this Mac polish it was part of the Star Trek collection and this is called skin of evil it's like a metallic polish and it has a whole bunch of like flakies in there and there's like an iridescence to it it's like it's got like this green gold iridescence to it it has these like round matte black glitters in there it's just a really gorgeous looking color it looks like reptile skin I don't know if you've ever seen like any of those like snake skin um fabrics or it's kind of like shimmery but has like this iridescence over it it just that's what it reminds me of and not a lot of people talked about this polish and I think it's perhaps because MAC isn't really well known for unique polishes every time I've ever seen a MAC collection I was more interested in like the packaging like the trolls collection had crazy colors but the color of the polish itself isn't necessarily unique so I think that for them that reason this polish got overlooked a little bit the only time I ever saw anybody talking about this polish was when I watched a lot of beauty gurus like unbox the PR packaging and they got and this was one of the items that they got that's it and they you know they they kind of went into how cool looking it was but I never really saw anybody in the nail polish community talk about this polish and I just I think it it just deserves so much more love so that's it that is the unpopular opinions nail polish tag I hope you guys enjoyed the answer to some of my questions please don't be offended if any of the nail polishes that I talk negatively about you guys really enjoyed these are just you know my personal preferences my personal opinions everybody's got different you know color preferences everyone's got different finish preferences so I hope you guys really enjoyed Enjoy this and found it I don't know at least entertaining don't forget to leave you know your answers to these questions I will put the questions in the description box so if you just want to answer them in the comment section please feel free to do that you know maybe we can start a th uh, like a thread of comments um, answering these questions if you guys make a video please don't forget to tag me or leave a link down below hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video bye